Thank you, Coach. And last but certainly not least, please welcome to the stage our Minister of Culture, Matthew McConaughey. Hello, Austin. Hello, University of Texas. Hey, hey. Ah, uh, I've got some thank yous uh, to get here. Thank you, Finlay Wiki, for inviting me in. It was about four or five years ago. He's coming to Austin. Invited me to come in and be a partner on this. Um, got to know Charles the Tall a lot better. I remember that, that day he was talking about leaning over the railing at his lake house and saying, this is an original, awesome Austin feeling right here. Let's bring some of that feeling into this arena, into the Moody Center, which you'll see when you're in there. Um, thank you to CDC, Mr. Del Conte, worked closely with you through the years, and I've had a great time. You, I could say, yeah, you probably wore me out a couple of times too, but I've gotten used to it. I kind of enjoy it. Yeah, yeah. Um, Ross Moody and the Moody family, this wouldn't be possible without them. A thank you to Icon, to Gensler. Look, with designs, I mean, I'm pretty good at dealing with an Airstream. <laughs> There's a little more square footage in, in here to look at. It opened up my aperture. Um, it, it sure did. Um, when I came on as a partner in this endeavor um, more than three, four years ago, before the first shovel hit the dirt, I had two goals and hopes for this place. One was to make the first place that every big band world-class act wants to play on the globe. Two, that it be the last place that any basketball team visiting the University of Texas Longhorns, that it be the last place that they want to play. With the creativity and expertise of a lot of the people that I just mentioned and everyone here behind me, I'm happy to say that the Moody Center is engineered, designed, and aligned to do both of those things. From the communal flow inside, from the relation to the fans in the stands, to the stage and the court, we've designed this Moody Center to be an awesome experience for everybody in it. Whether you're on the floor, whether you're in the corral, whether you're in the lower bowl, whether you're in the boxes or the mezzanine, we have tried to create an original and authentically Austin experience for every single fan. The, the Moody Center is built for success. So, the bones of the Moody Center are in place. It is, as I said, engineered for success on and off the court. It is ripe, it is ready, I understand it's got electricity, the water pressure's good, the speakers are wired, the concessions are loaded, the goals on both ends of the court will both be 10 feet high, but it's still only a building. It's not a home yet. It's not a home yet. Because you've got to fill a place with soul if you're going to make it a home. And that's why now comes the fun part. <laughs> yes, it's time to bless the mood. We've got to fill the mood with soul. Yes, it is time to bless the mood. It is the live music capital of the world community of Austin, Texas. It's time to bless the mood. It is Bebo's time to bless the mood. It is the University of Texas women's basketball team's time to bless the mood. It is the University of Texas men's basketball team's time to bless the mood. The media, the reporters, outlets, you who will share the stories we tell in there, it is your time to bless the mood. It is the Moody Center staff's time with their hospitality and service to bless the mood. It is the UT student section's time at courtside in a standing room only, 270 degrees, as CDC likes to remind, I always say, around the floor. We call it the corral. It is your time to bless the mood. Yeah, it's your time, it's my time, it is our time to bless the mood. We've got to fill this place with soul. We've got to fill this place with the best 
of ourselves every time we go in it. That's how we're going to bless the move. We're going to bless it, as I said, by bringing the best of ourselves every time we come to it, every time we show up with respect, with honor, with pride, and who we are and why we're in this place every time we are in it. We're going to bless the move. We're going to bless it by making it bleed, burn orange every time our teams are on the court. We're going to bless it with victories. We're going to bless it with memories. Yes, it is time to bless the mood because we got one time for a first impression. One time to set the tone for our expectations in our new house. And that starts right now. It is time to set the tone. Time to rock the mood. It is time to roll the mood. It is time to party in the mood. It is time to be the loudest fans in America in the mood. It is time to play like a champion in the mood. It is time to own the mood. Yes, it is time to believe that what happens in here from now on can and will change the world. Yes, will you do this with me? Just because it'll make me feel good, it is time to bless the mood. Are you ready to bless the mood? Are you ready to bless the mood? Are you ready to bless the mood? I need some help, please. Are you ready to bless the mood? Are you ready to? Come on now. Give me some backup. Bless the mood. One, two, three. Are you ready to? Bless the mood. Are you ready to? Bless the mood. Are you ready to? Bless the mood. Come on, CDC. Are you ready to? Bless the mood. Are you ready to bless the mood? Here it is. Are we ready to bless the mood? It starts right now. Thank you, Irwin Center. The memories we have there, we're bringing over here, but it's time to turn the page. Let's keep writing the book. Let's bless the mood. Hook them. Thank you, Austin. At this time, we ask all of our folks on stage to walk to the front of the stage where we're going to cut the ceremonial ribbon. We're going to little countdown 10 to 1, and then we're going to cut it. On the 1 is when we do cut and bless the mood. All right, everybody, 10. Everybody together. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bless the mood, baby. 